news this week. First piece of news is about Fortnite. So Fortnite this week absolutely delivered the best gift possible for their fans. They added Winterfest. Now for those that don't know, the Winterfest update is something that has been highly requested to make a return for a long time now. It's a special uh, event within Fortnite, usually during the Christmas season, and it involves a virtual cabin where any Fortnite player can go and open presents which gift you items and skins and harvesting tools and basically things to actually use in the game completely for free. The only catch is that you're only allowed to open one gift every day. So it's kind of a fun way to get you to play and open up Fortnite every single day. And people, you know, everybody likes free stuff. So this update was met with a lot of praise from longtime Fortnite fans that have been asking for this to come back for a long, long time. I'm super happy that it's back. Everybody has a chance to get some free things now, and it's just really, really nice. Plus, there's also some additional changes to the Fortnite map. Uh, Sergeant Winter, which is kind of like the Fortnite Santa Claus, goes around the map dropping gifts. Sometimes they're good gifts, and sometimes they're bad gifts. Just depends if you're naughty or nice. And there's presents around the map, uh, items that you can find which give you legendary weapons and Christmas trees. So it's just a really great time to play Fortnite right now. And a lot of people are on the servers. In fact, that there's actually uh, some problems with the downtime in servers every once in a while, especially during peak hours of the day. So Fortnite hasn't really said anything, but I'm sure there are a lot more people playing Fortnite now than there were like a month ago, so clearly a lot of people are online playing this game, and this whole Winterfest just helps that out even more. Uh, next, we got some news for um, Minecraft. So, Minecraft is celebrating Halo Infinite. They're kind of collabing. Uh, technically, this makes sense because Minecraft and Halo are both, like, owned by Microsoft. So, uh, yeah, um, Minecraft is celebrating Halo Infinite, the release of the campaign for Halo Infinite, by releasing eight new Minecraft skins, all centered around Halo. So, if you're a Halo fan, if you're a Minecraft fan, this collab is specially just for you, because seriously, it's kind of awesome. I'm looking at the skins right here, right now. We got, like, um, a special, like, Master Chief type skin, and other characters from Halo Infinite, and they actually look pretty cool. So, uh, I don't know how much it costs. I'm not, I'm pretty sure it's not free. Usually they don't release free, like, skin packs in Minecraft, but this is really awesome, so kind of a huge deal this past week. Uh, Battle Royale game PUBG. You probably have heard of Player Unknown Battlegrounds before. Uh, PUBG was like the big Battle Royale game before Fortnite and before Call of Duty Warzone. It was like the only one that everybody was playing. Then Fortnite came out and absolutely just stole the popularity of every other multiplayer game at the time. And PUBG was a paid game, like you had to pay to play the game. And it was actually kind of expensive too, I think it was like $40 or something to buy the game if I remember correctly, so not a cheap game. And now, after years of being out and people asking for it to go free to play, they just announced that next year, PUBG is going to be free to play. So, that's awesome. Uh, just very, very late. I think the game should have went free to play back when it first
first came out, to be honest. But better late than never. Hopefully this this means that more people will check out PUBG now that it's free. Uh, I wonder if like they're going to release more versions of the game. Uh, but yeah, interesting to see what they're going to do with PUBG now that it's going to go free to play next year. They don't say when exactly, but uh, next year. So hopefully we hear more about that soon. So uh, Sony has <laughs> released info on some new PlayStation 5 controller colors. Uh, we're going to be getting a pink, a blue, and a purple controller in January for the PlayStation 5, and the blue one looks so good. I really want that blue PlayStation 5 controller. I think it looks really nice. Uh, I was actually waiting for new controller colors for a while now, so I might have to pick one of these up. But wow, uh, we're finally getting some new controller colors. It's been a while, I feel. We've had like the same ones for a long time. Sony also said that they're going to be releasing console covers for the PlayStation 5. Uh, which is interesting. If anyone remembers the Xbox 360, uh, we used to get like face plates for the Xbox 360 where you can like pay for a face plate for your system. And you could customize your Xbox to make it look like a Gears of War theme or Halo, depending on what your favorite game was. They were actually kind of nice just to, you know, make your system a little bit more unique than being the same exact one as everybody else. So uh, Sony seems to be doing that same thing now where they're basically going to be selling next year these PlayStation 5 covers for the system. Uh, you're going to put them over the panels of the PlayStation 5, and it's going to change the color of your PS5, so that's kind of awesome. I like that. I would definitely buy one if I liked it. Hopefully they release, like, ones themed around video games and not just colors, like, give me an Uncharted one or, uh, you know, another cool game or something. Ghost of Tsushima, that would be an awesome PlayStation 5 cover to have. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we get something like that. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else do we got here? So, we got a trailer and a lot of, like, gameplay footage and news for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, this is gonna be the next big Pokemon game coming out on the Nintendo Switch next year, and trailer just came out. More gameplay, more info. Wow, uh, so let me say, this game looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it's gonna play differently compared to the mainline Pokemon games. Like, don't go in expecting um, one of the recent type of Pokemon games like they did with uh, Pearl or Diamond on the Switch. Those are more of like, you know, the classic iconic Pokemon style game. This one is going to be different. It's gonna have like an open world you can travel in. Uh, it, it's just going to be completely different. People are making some comparisons to other Pokemon games, but honestly, I feel like this is going to be completely new and different. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. I hope the game does well, and I would like to see them do more stuff like this in the future, because this looks like it has like a really interesting world and story, and I'm really going to want to explore it, so probably going to be picking that up next year when it comes out. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, a lot of people excited about that, especially after all the new trailer and gameplay footage came out. Uh, we got confirmation this week that the System Shock remake is still going to be releasing next year. So, there was like a rumor a while back, and then we got a conf confirmation that System Shock a uh, kind of classic PC horror game was going to get a remake and come out on like the PlayStation and Xbox and PC and then we didn't really hear that much about it. Well, this past week we just got, you know, further confirmation that the game is still being made and it's not cancelled. Uh, apparently it's going to be coming out on PlayStation 5 and PS4 next year and I assume Xbox and everything else will be getting it then as well. So uh, GTA Online 
revealed its brand new big update, and Dr. Dre plays a big role in this new GTA Online update. So, uh, if any of you remember, a couple weeks ago I talked about a leak where it basically mentioned that Dr. Dre was recording music for a new GTA game, and a lot of people thought it was GTA 6, myself included. But, uh, turns out he was just working on a new expansion update for GTA Online. So that's a little bit disappointing. I wanted GTA 6 news. But hey, apparently this new GTA Online update adds a lot of new features that fans have wanted for a while now. Uh, they, they've changed how, like, texts and contacts on your phone work within GTA Online, making, making it a little bit... Better. They also added like more clothing items, customization, new story, Dr. Dre's in it, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but go watch the trailer. Looks like a good update, I'm gonna have to check it out. But uh, yeah, that's uh, news. And uh, next, we finally have a little bit of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 news. I've been waiting for new Zelda Breath of the Wild news for a while now, so any little piece of news that they bring out, I'm always excited, because I'm seriously waiting for this game. So, uh, apparently, according to this rumor, which is kind of, like, reported internally from people that know people working at Nintendo, they said that Nintendo is working on Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 and are aiming to launch it next year. So, they're saying, don't worry, it's getting made, it's launching next year, so the game is doing great in development, there's, you know, no problems, just gonna have to wait until next year for it to come out, so I'm hoping by fall next year I'll be able to play it, or who knows, maybe they surprise us with a spring release, I kinda doubt it, but you never know with Nintendo, so this is gonna be huge, I love Zelda games, and I think this new one's going to be one of the better ones we got recently, so very excited for that. Uh, let's see, what else What else do I talk about here? Um, that's most of the big important news. We got one final piece of news, which is more about something that I'm interested in. So, uh, Klonoa is a video game character that has been kind of forgotten recently. I really like Klonoa. I like his games. I think he's an underrated video game character, and his games are really fun. They're kind of like a platforming type series. Debuted on the PlayStation 1, we got games on the PlayStation 2, and Nintendo Wii. And then he kind of vanished. Well, a new trademark has just come out this week for Klonoa. Apparently Namco Bandai is planning on re-releasing possible Klonoa games for modern systems, so I'm really hoping they give, you know, Klonoa a remake or a new game of some kind, because it his series is really good, and I think a lot more people deserve to play the Klonoa games. They're kind of like platformers. Think of, like, uh, Sonic or Super Mario, but with more... No, actually, I feel like a good comparison would be maybe the Rayman games. Yeah, think more like Rayman or, uh, yeah, more more of like a Rayman style of game is how I would uh, classify Klonoa. Uh, just a really fun, like, happy uh, platformer with a, a kind of like a serious story, which is very unexpected for a cartoon style game. Uh, so I would love to get, you know, a new Klonoa game, so hopefully this rumor uh, surfaces in the next year as a new game or something like that. But, uh, yeah, that's most of the important video game news for this week, so thank you all for listening, for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. So long and farewell.